this is Larissa Nilsson. I'm a team leader with my uh, with Osborne Books and more. And I'm here on my reading rug today because I wanted to show several copies from our My First Sticker Book series. So these are sticker books. Let me show you one of them so you can figure out what I'm talking about. We have lots of titles in this series. They all say first sticker book and then have the title. Um, so this one you can see is ice skating. They are paperback books about 16 pages long inside and then there's eight pages of stickers. So I have lots to show you. Um, they are all already done by my children. I don't have any brand new ones on hand at the moment, but this will still give you the idea. So I'm starting with the ice skating one because we actually left several of the sticker pages in the back. So this way you can see, um, and all the other ones, I think we tore them out. But um, So in the back are these pages of stickers. Okay, and they show, they tell you which pages the stickers are supposed to go on. But within the pages, there's a lot of flexibility for where you can put the stickers. So here's a scene from the ice skating one. And you can see um, that my daughter chose to put all the different stickers in different places. It didn't tell her she had to um, put them in a specific spot on the page. She got to choose where she wanted to put them. And at the top of each page is a small amount of text um, that you can read. Um, so when the book is done, it actually can become a book you can read together um, once all the stickers are placed. So that shows you the inside of ice skating. Uh, let me show you some other ones. This one is Under the Sea. So again, same concept. Um, you've got, you start with um, a double page layout, and then there's stickers in the back that match that page, and then the child gets to choose where on the page they want to put them. So here you've got By the Seashore. This is a little tide pool, and she got to choose where in the tide pool she wanted to put all the various sea creatures. Um, so just keep going. This one's called Princesses, um, perfect for little girls. Um, here we've got a picture of a castle. Again, text at the top. So you've got text to read together while you're doing the storybook or afterwards, the sticker book. And then she's the one that put all these princesses in their castle towers. So that's a really pretty girly one. Princesses. Here's another girly one. We've got a ballet title. Uh, what I really like about the ballet one is it actually goes through some different ballets. So this one is Capilia. And you can see the stickers. Um, she got to put them in. But this way you learn about different ballets that um, are kind of famous ballets. Here's an airport one that my son did. Um, perfect for traveling. Um, or for just doing it at home. So this is the page that has to do with the bags. Um, and you can see he got to choose where he was going to put all the different travelers and the bags. Um, and then last but not least, we've got nature. Um, and here we've got a page from the nature one. It's a wood scene. And then uh, they chose where they were putting the animal stickers in the book. So just a really fun series. I really like to recommend them. Wide age range of kids love them. Um, from very little, if you're helping them feel the stickers, um, up to elementary age because they get to really design the pages themselves. So it's a fun series. Um, these are just a selection of the titles we have. Lots more to offer. And if you need more information, you can check out the links below. Thanks for watching.